Well, fear is sort of a not thing. When I was in residency, my first solo procedure was a spinal surgery on a 16-year-old kid, a girl. And uh, at the end, after 13 hours, I was closing her up and uh, I accidentally ripped her jewel sack. You know what that is? It's right at the base of the spine where all the nerves come together and the membrane is thin as tissue and it ripped open. Nerves spilled out of her like angel hair pasta, spinal fluid flowing out of her and I just froze because I knew if I didn't get those nerves back in that sack and sew it up those 13 hours were nothing she'd be paralyzed and I had about a minute all the assistants were looking at me I could feel their eyes on me and the terror was so crazy so real I knew I had to deal with it and so I made a choice I'd let the fear in let it take over let it do its thing but only for five seconds, that's all I was gonna give it. So I started to count. One, two, three, four, five. And then it was gone. I went back to work, sewed her up, and she was fine. I think everyone has something like that. That moment when you establish your relationship with fear. And either you deal with it or you don't.